The way that I like to work is I'll go out in the garden or along the lane and I'll take my sketchbook and I'll do little sketches of things that I want. And when I've decided on something, a combination or something that looks nice, I'll then get my paper. So I use handmade paper. And then I'll do a pencil sketch, rough that out first. And then I'll do watercolour on top. And after this, I use an old-fashioned dip pen and Indian ink. I like the contrast between the watercolour and the ink. I have to use a really tiny little nib to get all the detail. I feel totally absorbed when I'm illustrating so I don't really notice anything else and it's a bit like when you're reading a really good book and you sort of have to pour yourself out of it and you're like a bit dazed and then I'll suddenly I'll be like oh it's four o'clock and I haven't had any lunch and my foot's numb because I've been sitting on it for five hours so yeah it's just a totally absorbing thing. I've always loved drawing, I've always wanted to be an artist, so my dad's an artist, he's an oil painter, so I've always I suppose, looked at what he does and taken inspiration from him, and it's just something I think I've probably drawn nearly every day of my life, and I just practised loads when I was younger, and it's just, I suppose, it's just all I ever wanted to do. I became full-time illustrator last year, so before that I worked part-time at a garden centre and did both my illustrating and working there, and I've just opened a gallery this year with my friend Ludlow. I started working with Country Living when I did the Country Living Artisan online markets uh, in 2020. And then through that, uh, some of my work was in the Emporium section in the magazine. And then Country Living passed my name on to Homebase. I did five illustrations for them, three vegetables and two wildlife, and the wildlife are available mugs. And there's also a trio of vegetable prints most of my inspiration comes from my garden and the hedgerows and the countryside and the woods around my house and I'm interested in the changing seasons and seeing all the different changes in the hedgerows around me. Going for a walk for me takes a very long time because I'm always staring into the hedgerows and I take my sketchbook and I do lots of sketches and take pictures along the way and if I'm cycling on my bike I'm always like throwing the bike on the side of the road and rushing over to take a picture of a flower or whatever. I've got a cat called Tarragon who's lovely, she's very naughty, she, she knows she's gorgeous uh, and she's often out with me in the garden so she likes to be where people are even though she pretends she doesn't so she doesn't like going out in the garden unless I'm there really so she likes to hang about and sleep in the shade whilst I'm working which is lovely. The garden for me is a, is a space where I can just spend hours uh, drawing and pottering about and looking at all the wildlife in there. We started the garden from scratch uh, in 2019 so it's really really nice and joyful to see all the wildlife enjoying it and using it which is what I always wanted. Seeing all the wildlife in my garden inspires me every day and, and fuels, well, everything for my work. Mother Nature 
knows the best combinations and she does it best. So all all the, my favourite things in the garden are, are sort of what they've seeded themselves there and have grown themselves there. And it's just a lovely natural space to be in.